Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? You're watching Hold Your Horses. Are you killing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you a fan? You're so s Millions of high school graduates around China have submitted their desired college choices over the past few weeks. For those who don't know, what college a Chinese student gets submitted to is by and large dependent upon their score on the National University Entrance Exam, known as Gaokao in Chinese. This is the world's toughest and largest exam, the Gaokao. It is considered a relatively fair way to screen and select candidates for higher education institutions and will have a large impact on their future. Although the Gaokao is seen as China's equivalent of the US's SAT test, the two systems are quite different. Your three-digit Gaokao score is the sole determinant to university admission in China, and it only takes place once a year. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know it's supposed to be the fairest option given the circumstances, but that still sounds terrifying. By comparison, I know in the US, admission decisions are way more personalized and considerate. American universities also take into account your family's wealth and influence. For instance, studies have found that colleges are more likely to recruit at high schools with wealthy students than students whose families are middle class or poor. Okay, okay, I, I know what you're probably going to say. It might seem a little elitist, but as the saying goes, the apple never falls far from the tree. So I really think it's one of the best ways to scream for greatness. Wharton, the Wharton. Hey, the Wharton School of Finance right here. The Wharton, the Wharton School. The Wharton School of Finance. So I went to the Wharton School of Finance, which is considered the best business school, okay? Gotta be very smart to get into that school. Very smart. More importantly, students' personality is also evaluated for admission to elite schools like Harvard. Apparently for some reason, which I'm sure is totally legit, Asian Americans fall short in that department. I mean, look at these kids, for example. Do they look like Harvard material to you? Do they look like the future leaders and brilliant minds of America? <laughs> Whoops, my bad. <laughs> okay, enough about America. China, I'm not letting you off the hook either. I don't really take that much issue with how tough the whole Gaokao experience is or how insanely difficult some of the test questions are. What is this? What in the world? Sorry, I can't. I, I just, I can't. But I do take some issue with how this exam and its importance in life is communicated by some parents, teachers, and just adults in general. The idea that this is it, make it or break it. What if someone is just not that good at exams, but has a unique ability to communicate and relate to other people, or endure in the face of adversity, or generate amazingly creative content like this show? <laughs> you serious? Okay, this may sound a little trite, but you're not your test score. You're not what school you graduated from, and you're not your paycheck. Boys and girls, find your unique strength and passion. If you should have any say over anything, it's your purpose and calling in this life.